Well, that complicates things. Hello, everyone. DredgeX97 here. How y'all doing? Um, I was not expecting to do a live stream like this, but my phone's being weird, so... When life gives you lemons... When life gives you lemons, you break bad. And sell methamphetamine. <laughs> Alrighty. That's weird. How do I make this? Huh. Alrighty. Well, let's see if I can get him in shot. There we go. No one is watching. Yeah. It's like the opposite of that 80s song. Everyone's watching. Nobody's watching. Need to switch out my account. Sign into another one. All right, let's see. Ah, hello there. How's it going, Blood Streak? All right, let's see. All right, now I can look at my live chat. And let's, uh, yeah, let's get this, uh, party going, shall we? It's been a while since I've done a live stream. Hey, that's good to hear. Uh, obviously the last live stream I did was, um, with my good buddy Don over at Primetime Studios. Or Primetime Animation Stand. What's his username? Primetime. Anyways, uh... So that was the last live stream that I did. And it's been a while since I've uploaded anything on the channel, hasn't it? Um, I want to apologize about that. Uh, the first month, the first couple of months after the surgeries, it was difficult to speak for long periods of time. And in the months since then, I've just been really out of it. Um, so, hopefully, I can build this with no complications. It's a lot of pieces. I might have messed up. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm still alive, uh, in case anyone was wondering. I did not die during my surgeries. I survived Dallas somehow. So, yeah. Alright. Wow, that's... It's gonna dump it all out. That is a lot of parts. Okay, are they labeled? Number four, number two. Let's see if I can get these all labeled out. Does this get any taller? I've never done one of these builds before, so. They're on camera. So, let's see. Please give me a moment to adjust my camera. Bad. Bad phone. There we go. Terribly sorry about that. Didn't mean for you to see my feet. <laughs> and let's get this one. the fun part and getting all the bags in order hmm. this also says number two so number two three four Also four, eight, one, okay, one, twos, threes, four, 
One, three, two, four, 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 five, three, nine, eight. All right, cool. Now I got everything separated. So, um, instructions are pretty big. Let's see if they're any good. Um, all right then. I think, uh, Hmm. Huh. Oh, Kaden, am I missing something? Oh, oh. I just can't read. Alrighty, so bag number one. See if I can sit down and do this. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Hmm. All righty. Well, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Brought a knife with me. Alrighty. Set that to the side. And let's see. So, gotta pay attention to those. And already I'm missing black bar. Let's see, is that piece important? Not quite yet. Right, so, I gotta get the piece that's a four by something. Alright, four by ten. Alright, so this piece just goes underneath that. Can't be right. There we go. Okay. And just do that. Oh. oh. These pieces. Okay. Can't even see what I'm doing. Let's see if we can rectify that. Okay, is this better? I think. I don't know, uh, does anyone ever watch build streams? Because I've never done this before. I don't know the proper camera setup. Originally, I wanted this to be a sideways film or landscape, but yeah, for some reason, YouTube wouldn't let me film normal. Alrighty, and then another brown piece. And then get the smaller tan piece. And a little two by one. That's gonna be this 
bag right here, also labeled one. Okay. Possibly. All right. Man, I wish I knew how to get background music on. That'd be nice. Um, but. All right, so it's a six by eight. And what is this over here? And it's one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Uh huh, that's weird. That's not overlapping, right? How silly am I? You know what? It was probably this tan piece. There we go. My apologies in advance. I'm going to make lots of mistakes uh, because my vision's kind of messed up. Yay. So that's been fun dealing with. <clears throat> okay, that's... Yeah. Okay. Or no, maybe that's not right. Why? Okay, I'm just going to skip a little ahead. To get that. <clears throat> Go. All right, back on track. And gotta get a little square piece. Uh, bad time for my vision to not work. Where is that little square at? No, oh, no. That was cool. I need someone with good vision to help me. <laughs> All right, and All right. Kind of rinse and repeat. There we go. All right. And throw down one of these round pieces and then another tan piece. Yay! Got the graham cracker and chocolate. Mmm, man. I've been losing my teeth since December, so. Graham cracker and chocolate. Mmm, s'mores. Sounds pretty tasty. All right. Um, okay. Oh, there's that black bar. Yeah. So, so far the construction on this is a little shoddy. Um, not a big fan of these flat pieces only going over one stud to connect. Uh, back when I was a kid and I was building Legos all the time, I would normally put like two or three studs overlay instead of just one, especially for flats. All right, now we get to the fun part, building the undercarriage. 
So, black pieces on this side. And we gotta take four of those gray pieces and... Huh. Okay. So, take some gray pieces. And... Do the dreaded flat-on-flat -flat technique. Yeah, I used to hate doing this as a kid. Um, until I started to grow out my thumbnails. Uh, I've been chewing them a lot lately, so... Don't have my nails anymore. <laughs> Alright. Come on. There we go. And... Where's that other piece go? Ugh, it's way... Back there. Um, okay, connecting these two pieces. I gotta say, the overall feel of this, um, it definitely feels like not Lego. Lego has a nice texture to it. This has a very, very smooth and uh, kind of rounded texture. All right. And hmm, well, that's weird. Okay, then we got to take more flat pieces, uh, four by ones, and then stack them up. And these flies are really annoying. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Alrighty, we got that, and there we go, this over here, okay, am I missing a piece or am I just blind? Oh no, shoe fly. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get these stacked real quick. Hmm, okay, so I got this one right here, but I appear to be missing... Nope, oh, nope, there it is. Starting to think a black table isn't the best idea for building Lego on. <laughs> All right, and let's see. All right, so we got those built, and now we just got to throw on Gotta say, I'm not sure how I feel about the construction of this. I feel like um, it's kind of lacking some key components, such as pieces overlapping each other for extra support. So, but looking ahead in the instructions, it looks like there is some overlap up ahead. But like I said, so far. Oh, come on. Where's that other piece at? There we go. And then a flat two by two. And then the important overlapping technique to help bricks stay secured. Not so bad so far. Okay. And there we go. Uh oh. There it is. All 
Alrighty, there we are. <clears throat> All right, and now comes the fun part. Ten on ten. So we got those in. And then we need a one by two flat. And then a one by three flat. And then two one by fours. And then one one by six. All right. And then those. And six goes here. Okay. It's good that uh, finally starting to see some overlapping. And three goes. Oh, shoot. Whoops. My bad. So the one by four goes over here. Oh, two one by fours go right here. And then the one by two goes right there on top of the one by six. Alrighty, moving right along, let's go with the, I think these are called snot bricks, I don't know, but we got to get three of those, and then one black two by one brick, and then one one by four lock all right and put oh, put the two by one right there one by four right there and then the snot bricks <laughs> right here already And then, gotta grab another one by two flat. Um, and then two of these, I like to call them vent pieces because they kind of look like vents. So we gotta grab two of those one by two vents. Uh, a one by one brick, and then four snot bricks. So one. Three and I can sort yep four and then two one by three flats. Can I see them? There's one. All right. So we got those parts and we got to put them all in the back. That's weird. It's like um. Come on. Go into camera. Go into place. Come on, go into your home. There we go. And do I have to double stack that? No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, that's weird. Maybe I do have to double stack it. Some very interesting building techniques with this. Then we come to the back. Put that there. Uh, we're going to put two of the snot bricks down. And then the regular brick. So let's go ahead and get the regular brick in. Because the snot nose brats don't want to go into place. All right, well, then we get to put a vent on the two snots. And then second verse, same as the first. 
as a much more famous YouTuber would say. Alrighty. And then we'll go ahead and put it that. Yeah. No, no. Ah, darn it. Darn my uncoordinated hands. Okay. Ooh. Hold it up. Oh, hey, that's a little weird. These are slightly different style bricks that I'm dealing with. What? Oh. Oh, no. Ah! Yeah, I messed up. I'm very good at that. Hello, Lime Time Productions. How's it going? All right. Well, I messed up. So uh, apparently, unlike regular Lego, there's two different style bricks with the stud on the side or anti-stud. Is that what it's called? No, that's anti-stud. Um, one of them has two anti-studs and one of them only has the one. So I messed up. I did not realize there are two different style of bricks. Whoopsie daisy. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Um, let's go on top. Darn it. It's going good. How are you today? I am not too bad. I didn't fall asleep till about 8 this morning. Um, I made the mistake of having some coffee yesterday evening. And normally, when I have coffee, it helps me go to sleep. Last night, it did not. So I did not go to sleep till 8 a.m. <laughs> but other than that, I'm not too shabby. Um, got to clean off my table. Normally, this table's a mess, but I, I was getting sick of looking at it. And then finally, I was able to um, clean off a spot. That way, I can do this stream. Um... No major headache today. That's That's been a relief. Normally the headaches are really, 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 really annoying. So no major headache today is a good thing. I am so sick of these headaches. <laughs> All right. And now I think I got it right. Okay. Good. Next page. Oh, no. More stuff that I can't see. Hold up. I got to get the instructions away from the camera because I need to... Okay. Um, so we got to get two of these pieces, uh, the one by twos with the ratchet on it, on the side. So two of those. And then a... I don't... a panel? Looks like the skirt for... Oh, uh, mobile homes. You know the skirting on the side of mobile homes? That's what it looks like. And then we gotta get three jumper plates, which I think they're called jumpers. It's uh, when they... it's a two-by-one with a single stud on the top. But this is generic Lego. It's not even real Lego, so I don't even know if I could call it that legally. Um, Okay, so, that's so weird. You put these, like this, howdy ho gang, I've arrived. Hello Alex, welcome. Yo Dredge, how's it been guy? Hope you've been recovering well from all the surgeries. I've been recovering slowly, um, still haven't returned to work yet. Hand-eye coordination's still pretty messed up. That's why I figured, hey, why not try Lego? That's all about hand-eye coordination. Um, 
So, yeah, that, that's why I'm doing this. It's to try and better myself. Uh, how are you doing? I'm still alive. Um, I felt kind of bad. I haven't been able to post much. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the stream, the first couple of months after uh, the surgeries, I was in no mood to talk very much. And I would get major headaches just from talking. And I still get... No! Ah! Dag nabbit! And I still get pretty worn out just from talking. Which is a bit annoying. Uh, considering I used to have a job where I just talked all day. And now I can barely talk for a few hours. Now I've got to reassemble this stuff. Um, so, yeah, this uh, KO Breaking Bad RV does not hold together too well so far. Um, part of me kind of wants to get glue. But, okay, there we go. Got it back. Pretty good. I got bludgeon not too long ago. Ooh, nice. Which bludgeon? Legacy or R.I.D.? Okay, then moving right along, we got to get two of these pieces. And a one by five. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so a one by four. That's easy to see. A one by five. Wait, is it no? Yeah, one by five. That's unique. I've only seen one by sixes though. Ooh. Ooh. Shoot. I'm not seeing any one by fives. Uh, I might need to get all my pieces separated. Alright, so we got one by sixes. One by fours. I'm not seeing a one by five. Oh. Oh. I might be missing a piece. That, or it's in another baggie. Uh, shoot. I'm not seeing a one by five. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, raggy. It's funny you building this because I began watching Breaking Bad like two months ago. Stopped halfway into season three. Have to go back and finish it. Legacy Bludgeon. He's got two swords because I kept the one from my broken R.D. Blastwave. Nice. And now for some obscure French folklore, if you drink three glasses of milk and place three cat whiskers underneath your pillow before bedtime, a goblin will tickle the underside of your ball bearings. Hmm. Intriguing. Intriguing. Why is my knee visible? That's weird. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. Uh, Alright, so the instruction... No, why did I close the manual? Alright. You know, oh, there's a 1x5. Weird. All right. Oh, no, I need to get a 1x1 one one flat. And 1x4, one 1x5. One, one All right, and then attach accordingly. Uh, last year, my uh, girlfriend's son and I, we were watching Breaking Bad. And I gotta say, I really liked season one. Um, and then it kind of, I don't know, went downhill for me with season two with Skyler being a hoe, <laughs> for lack of better words. No, no, dropping more pieces.
And then her go-to catchphrase, well, it's because you weren't there. That's no reason to cheat. So, it's okay. Breaking Bad gets better in, like, the final season. But for me, seasons two and three are kind of a blur mixed together. Only good parts are Gus and, uh, what's his name? Saul. Better call Saul. There we go. All right, so we put this uh, one by one over here for some odd reason. And then the one by four right here. And then where's that five piece go? Over here. Come on, snap into place. Ah! All right. If I did SG Blast Wave, what would his color scheme be? Ooh, that is a great question. I have not thought of a Shattered Glass Blast Wave. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do Shattered Glass Bludgeon. Uh, originally, I wanted to use a Siege Megatron with a different head, but that didn't quite work out. So now I'm kind of thinking about using a RID-15 Drift and making that Shattered Glass Bludgeon. Uh, yes, I did see Mew and Mayhem in theaters. Uh, I went to watch it. I think I took my brother and my girlfriend with me. But I do not think we brought her son with us. I think he was asleep and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go watch it without you. I was kind of a prick last year. Okay, that is not wanting to stick together. I really got to give it to Lego. They really know how to make parts that stick together well. All right. Um, shout out to those people over there. All right. So I got to take two of those. And then, oh, let's see. What the? No? Oh, yep. these pieces and that is a one by six not a one by five and connect it all together hopefully I did that right all right now the instructions show to rotate it slightly Brick, I hope you weren't near too many balloons <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't know if I was being a prick or not, but he was asleep and it was just like, hey, uh, you want to go watch it? So we went ahead and watched it without him. I thought it was uh, not bad. I'm not like a really big Mewin, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan to begin with. Um, I used to watch... Uh, the show that they had on Fox Kids back in the early 2000s. I thought that was pretty neat growing up. All right, is that it? Okay, next page. And this build's taking forever. All right, and gotta get more of those snot bricks. And just repeat what I did over there. So... Snap bricks, single brick, and then throw the vent on the side of it, like so. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh no, I'm missing a piece. If this would stop coming apart, I would greatly appreciate it. Well, that's just dandy. Nope, nope, don't. Damn it.
bam, freaking tastic. I'm not even sure what piece I launched over to the side. Okay, now this went there. And... Oh, that's what fell. Stop falling apart, damn you. Oh, uh, I guess I should probably mention it. I, I reached a thousand subscribers, so thank you, everyone. I really do appreciate it. That was very unexpected. So, thank you everyone for subscribing. Well, I am. Grew up with the 80s cartoon and the 90s movies on tape before watching the 03 show. Oh, nice. One of my earliest memories is getting a bunch of Ninja Turtle figs for my birthday. Ooh. Yeah, I, I never had any of the Ninja Turtle figures. But that's okay. What in the... Hmm. Dad, it, stay together. All right, uh, gotta find another snot brick. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, there it is. So this really does not want to snap together that well. As y'all can see, it uh, keeps coming apart quite a lot. Because the pieces, uh, regular Lego, they interlock. Uh, they interlock pretty easily. These do not want to do that at all. Okay, that's starting to look like something. There you go. All right. Hmm. Okay, uh, apparently I got a bunch of these pieces that I gotta use right there. So I was just double checking the instructions to make sure I'm doing this right because it feels a little weird that there's nothing down here for these bricks. And they're just hanging on by four studs. Oh well. So, need to get another one of these uh, vent pieces and two of these one by two bricks and I messed up already backwards plug those in and then Throw on one of these and two one by fours. And then this piece. And then 
connect it with a one by six. All right, uh, messages. I'd say I'm more attached to Leatherhead as a villain and an ally to the Turtles. Really liked him in the 80s cartoon, played by Jim Cummings with a Cajun accent. Oh, really? Jim Cummings did his voice? Nice. Fun fact about Jim Cummings, he's legit Cajun, so the accent is authentic. Ooh. Neon Mayhem was fun, enjoyed it overall. Only nitpick I have is I think the martial arts element could have been handled better. I don't like them learning from movies and YouTube videos. Well, I mean, they got rid of Master Splinter being a, a ninja that got turned into a rat. Which I thought was a kind of neat element from the show. Also, not into them putting Hamato Yoshi from the origin story. His involvement adds so much more weight to the turtles. Splinter and their connection to Shredder. More personal. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Shredder, so, spoiler alert for a movie that came out last year. At the very end of the movie, um, it kind of teases at Shredder. And when I saw that, I immediately turned to my brother and I went like, Yo! Because in the cartoon, I would always play uh, that Japanese sound. The samurai, Yo! Okay, so this looks interesting. Um, need four one by twos. I mean, um, need two one by one bricks, and then four one by fours. Let me get those, and then two one by four blocks. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Where is that other one at? Uh, there it is, duh. Alrighty. And this, go ahead. Put that down. Put those there. Sorry, my Battle 3 had a great soundtrack in incidental music. I, honestly, I don't really remember the music that well from the uh, 03 series. Alright, and then I gotta add more 2x1 hinge pieces for more flaps. Speaking of music, I wish I knew how to play music on these streams. Would be very nice to get some background noise in besides me breathing. <sighs> All right. Attach those flaps and presto. Yeah, darn it. So we got that flap and then this flap. Hey, Vector, how's it going? Hello, man, I have a question. Do you have a favorite Transformer series? Uh, you know, I, I would... This is probably going to be a generic answer, but I would probably have to say Prime because it has the most concrete story and focus without it going over the top. Um, I'm sorry, I, I know that's a basic answer. Oh, I like Transformers Prime. You know that show where they spent like $5 million on an episode? 
Yeah, well, you know, that's money well spent. Um, let's see. Transformers R.A.D. is a lot of fun. The uh, the original R.A.D., not the 2015. Although, when I was in the hospital, I did watch a couple episodes of the Rid 15 show, and it wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as everyone was saying. It's just not as good as Prime. All right, and then one by four. Hello, Fiero Locks. Jesse, we have to cook. Yep. Yep, got a little stand-in for Walter White. Don't have a hat for him yet. Need to get a bull cap for him. Maybe it's between Beast Wars and Animated. Nice. I don't know. I got mixed feelings on Animated. Like, um, don't tell Keej this. <laughs> he loves Animated. But... Animated for me, I, I like the idea of it more so than the execution. Um, that's just me. I'm sorry. And yeah, I will say Beast Wars is really good as well. That was um, the first series that I was able to watch alongside R.I.D. 01. I'm kind of over the DFP. No, let's look. <laughs> Oh, come on, they're robots. What do they need noses for? But I get what you mean, man. I'm just going to go ahead and put these wheels on their rims. <clears throat> Jesse, we need a cook. You know what I am over with? I I'm tired of this stupid trend like, hey, let them cook. Oh, man. They, they really cooked up good. I'm so done with that. It just sounds so stupid. No offense to Prime versus Prime. He says that all the time, but it's just... Man, they really cooked up something excellent with this one. I love Derek J. Wyatt's art style. So much personality. Yeah. Oh, okay, so... I'm a bit weird with transformers and how cartoonish they look on the one hand i get it. it it's a brand for children obviously they got to make it a cartoon and on the other hand i like Derek j wyatt's style as well um like the ben 10 omniverse say what you will about it i i do like how vibrant it looks but for robots and just being like too human looking I don't know. Like, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite art style. Uh, the plastic... Ooh. Ooh, man. So, earlier in the stream, you missed it. It kept falling apart for me. Uh, I I'd say the plastic... Plastic quality is uh, early 2000s Mega Bloks. Looking forward to Transformers 1. Um, kind of... I mean, we don't really know much about it. Of course, I'm interested, because, oh, it's a Transformers movie. Oh, coming to cinemas. But, I don't know. I will be excited about it when it releases, and I get to see it. Uh, until then, I, I don't know what to expect. Uh, hopefully, it's good. That's all I can say. I hope it's good. How about you? You guys looking forward to any movies this year? Okay, I think I need to move this back one. I'm I'm kind of looking forward to that new Godzilla movie. Those that show up at the flea market. I'm sure you'll get all your movies at the flea market. Don't you worry. Oof. I don't know. The, the build quality on this, it, it feels kind of like a Crayola crayon. Y you know, it, it doesn't feel bad, but at the same time, it definitely feels kind of waxy. Again, not bad. Just I'm a little worried about this build. All right, uh, now it's telling me to get this long piece and 
pop it right there. Uh, I'd say at this point, Transformers is for everyone now. Hasbro want to appeal to multiple demographics. That's why the comics are written with an adult audience in mind. Oh, cool. TF1. Gorilla Glue. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about using Gorilla Glue on generic Legos. <laughs> Not even Lepin. You know, uh, Fiero Locks, I, I would use glue, but I make way too many mistakes when building. So, uh, oh, darn it. See, I was even trying to put the wrong piece in. And I thought I grabbed the right piece. There we go. Yeah, no, it's telling me I got to use all these little tiny slope pieces over here. So, put that to the side. And this over here, and let's see, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces long. It's got to be this one. And got to use five sloops. One, two. So I got a legitimate question for you guys. Have you ever had a Tootsie Pop? And try to lick to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Because I, I did that before as a kid. And it took me, I think, over a thousand licks. Well, oh, well, people are commenting. Oh, okay, let's see. Not much really aside from the Deadpool and Wolverine and Godzilla con. Good year for squabbling buddy flicks. Yeah. Can't wait to see uh, Godzilla and con <laughs> squabble. <laughs> The main thing from the MCU, I'm excited about the Spider-Man College Trilogy. Ooh. No Way Home's ending gave me hope the next film will be more comic influence. If I had one. Because I want them to bring in Black Cat. Yeah, it would be cool if they brought in Black Cat, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Okay, so we got this piece done. And now... Gotta get this piece and then some jumper plates. It says four jumper plates and then two lights. Uh, okay. Huh. Let's take the two lights. Oh, okay. Does it want the flat or the stud? No, it wants the flat. So, uh, again, there's two different flat pieces. One that has a stud on it. This will focus. And then one... <sighs> Dang it. Come on. And then one that's just a flat, flat piece. So, this part right here, even though it's plugging into the un underside of this piece, it demands that we have the studless one. And then it wants me to put the four jumper plates like so. It's a little odd. Oh well. And gotta get it all lined up. So I don't like working with flat pieces. They're usually too easy to uh, finagle. All right. And then we just put this on the bottom. Like so, I think. Slightly off set. Okay, so that's why they wanted the flat pieces. Is um, that way it can fit right there. All right, next up. We take these other lights and I like to call these mirror pieces because um, on like a Lego car, you can sometimes use this as a mirror. I don't know what they're actually called. I'm sorry. It's probably like 
lift arm, stud, triple side. Um, and then take these two pieces. So, I'm gonna take this, put these in like so. And take these ones with the studs, plug them in. In the back and then take the mirrors and plug them sideways at a slight angle apparently oh hmm Okay. All right, and we got that. And then just... Where the hell? Just plug it in like that. Oh. That's not very secure. <laughs> Just plugs in like that. Not a secure connection. All right. And now it's telling me to put the wheels on. And we already put the wheels on, so now it's time to flip her over. Flip her over. I hardly know her. Dag nabbit. What I get for trying to be funny. Oh man. You know, I'm starting to think this build might be a two parter because it is being so uncooperative right now. My goodness gracious, who would have thought that knockoff Legos would. Be such a hass. Mm. Come on, please. Please work for me. All right. There we go. There's a part of me that kind of wants to go into BrickLink and order all the pieces. Um, that way I can make my own RV out of official Lego. And not the knockoffs that don't even stay tabbed in together. Wow. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Yay, I got it to roll. All right, I saw some people were typing. I'm sorry, I was messing with that. Um, I never looked my way down to the center. I just crunched it like the cartoon owl. Word. I call him the Santa Claus ape. Very Christmassy colors. Right? <laughs> Hello, Keldeo Studios. Studios, welcome. Are you getting along? Um, I am okay. I am not bad. No major headaches today, so that's been nice. How about yourself? How are you? Is this the new way YouTube is going to do live streams? Well, see, I wanted to do a live stream sideways, but you wouldn't let me. It was weird. It was more like a short... Well, you know, it's funny because if you scroll down YouTube shorts, you can actually see people posting live videos. That's kind of why I was okay with doing this type of video. So, um... 
YouTube live streams look like Instagram stories. Yeah, uh, cross-platform continuity or something like that. I blame TikTok for all of this. Because freaking TikTok, I gotta shoot my video vertically. Wait, no, that's not right. But yeah, anyways, how's everyone else doing? <sighs> I want to give up. Come on. Get together. I think I need to get some real Lego thrown in there. Help hold this stuff together. I'm alright, thanks. How are you? I'm alive. Oh, I'm doing alright. Got 2007 Jetstorm in the mail on Friday. Ooh, nice! The uh, Ultra Class figure, right? One that will pass for modern day leader. Okay, let's, let's try this again. I mean, this isn't a bad design. It's just um, the bricks don't want to stay together. No, uh, no, no, no. I need someone with a lot of patience right now to come help me out. doesn't want to tap together. That's the biggest problem I'm having with this stuff right now. Come on. Just... Alright. Um... Right. Goes on that side. Damn it. Sorry about that, y'all. I did not expect for this to fall apart so much. Okay. What? Accidentally put this piece uh, back together backwards. Weird. <sighs> Come on. Stick together. I'm sorry for anyone that's commenting. I will read your comments in just a moment. I just want to try and get this. Nope. Come on. There we go. <sighs> okay. All right. Whoever designed this has way more patience than I do. <laughs> All right. Uh, I thought that was real Lego. No. Supposedly TikTok is going to be banned in Texas. Good, I hope so. Oh, cool. Ultra Class 2007 Jetstorm. He is a very good figure. I thought this... Okay, I even gave that version of Jetstorm a headcanon voice actor of James Wood based on his role as Hades. <laughs> nice. When I think of James Wood, I just think of Family Guy. And maybe make your own RV out of official Lego bricks because it's obvious it's not going to stick together well. 
Well, it's funny you say that because I do have a Lego RV just off camera, but I don't want to show it yet. I wanted to save it until after I got done building this so I can do a comparison between official Lego and knockoff. You sound super stressed, my guy. My advice, stick your thermar in, in that dark hole. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, so since the surgery, I've been finding myself getting kind of stressed out slightly easier. Um, not like getting pissed off or angry, just... Uh, it, it's hard to describe. Um... Because my body doesn't want to coordinate properly, I'm feeling outside myself. Um, and it, it's really kind of a weird feeling because um, I haven't felt normal in months. But it's not a bad feeling. Like, when I was in the hospital, I was in a lot of pain. Um so thankfully, I'm not in a lot of pain, but I just don't feel fully myself. I don't know if that makes sense. James Wood as Hades really gives me a Beast Machine's chest storm vibe. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's falling apart again. Come on. It'll probably stick to better. Yeah. Take two. It'll probably stick together better once I start building up. Everything can hold itself together, maybe. Nope. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Stop falling apart, please. Okay, there we go. And all right, let's see, what else is it telling me to do? Oh, right, gotta put that there. And this here. And now it's wanting me to put these single pieces on top of these single bricks. Right on. All right, so that is all of bag one completed. Yay! <clears throat> That definitely wasn't a hassle whatsoever. That clocking in had a little over an hour. That was a speedy, breezy build. Okay, let's see. Bag two. Uh, where did I put bag two? All right, then bag three, three, and two. Okay, those are all bag three. Back there. Oh, the fun part. All these little tiny pieces that I have just for CC in. Ooh, what can go wrong? Okay, I'm, I'm digging some of the pieces in here, like, when I was a kid and had Legos, I used to have little wooden crates like that. That's cool to see. I'm not too fond of how the plastic feels, though. Like I said, it kind of feels like a Crayola crayon. Crayola crayon. Actually, no, it feels like a generic crayon, not even Crayola.
Oh, you made a camshaft custom. Nice. Those crates were the best. Right? Uh, I especially enjoyed them in the... Oh, please don't blow up. Bag, please don't blow up. Um, Johnny Thunder sets. I don't know if any of you guys are old enough to remember Johnny Thunder, but it was kind of like Lego's answer to Indiana Jones before they got the rights to do Indiana Jones. All the little tiny pieces. Uh, why did I decide to do this? I might need to grab my glasses. Okay. Whew. Right now I'm wearing an eye patch uh, because my vision, when I look through both my eyes, my vision's doubled up. So instead of seeing one image, it's like seeing double and then sometimes it's off. Uh, shoot, what is it? Off axis? Yeah. Um, so I'm wearing an eye patch right now, but I think I might need to get my glasses to see all these tiny pieces. Wow. Uh, fun fact, don't, uh, don't get brain surgery and then try to play with Legos. <laughs> my custom on my custom thread on TFW. Oh, okay. All right. Lego Rewind. Yes, man, I, I, I love Lego Rewind. Uh, back when I was working at the gas station and it was closing time, I remember listening to his videos while I was uh, cleaning, stocking, and whatnot. I got a mini fridge for Christmas. Ooh. Nice. I have a question, Dredge, and I don't mind if you never do it again. Are you going to do the SG painting live stream again? You know, that is a great question because on my last live stream, I promised to finish the Shattered Glass Soundwave Customs. Now, since then, um, I converted one of those Shattered Glass Soundwaves into a custom cannonball. One sec. So... Um, that means that I have one more Shattered Glass Soundwave that I need to finish, but I own the official, so I have no urgency to finish the live streams, or to finish that Soundwave, but I promise to do that Soundwave, so I don't want to be a liar, but at the same time, I have no motivation to do that Soundwave. Um, so I turned the other Soundwave into a custom cannonball, for my uh, custom Pirates combiner. That's unfinished. Uh, still, I got mostly done with him by the time my first surgery came around. But then I never got around to finishing him. Not cold enough for the ice cream. What? A stockade out of 86 scratch in. Man, that was not exactly the best idea. But one of my Walmarts have a crap ton. Oh, nice. Dude, just black spray paint. Um, and then for the face mask, what I do is I take a, uh, a box cutter or an X-Acto knife, depending on what I have on store, and then I just cut the face off. That way they have a face mask. Speaking of cannonball, I made my own cannonball. Oh, cool. See town. Very nice. All right, real quick. I'm going to read the instructions. So... Uh, okay. Need two two by ones. Sometimes I wish I had someone here to read me the comments. Uh, there it is. So we got two of those, and then two two by one flats, brown. I do say I like all these small bits to represent the chem lab. Um, 
I just really wish my eyes were cooperating. Uh, then four tiles. One. Two. Oh. Oops. And then six two by one hinge piece. I don't know what you call this piece, but I guess I need six of these. And I dropped it. That's fantastic. Uh-oh. There it is. All right, so I got six of those pieces. And... I guess I need two of these. Now, real quick, anyone watching, does anyone know what these are called? These little round tiles? Are they just round tiles? Two by two rounds? And then four... Wow, these these are very complicated chairs. I need four of these little pieces with the clip on them. Why isn't that focusing? Come on, stop focusing on my wart. Yeah, I'm starting to think a black table was a bad idea for filming. <laughs> Four little clips. And I, there's that piece. And then two double clips, which I'm going to call these double clips because it's basically that regular piece, but two of them put together. Very, very neat looking. Two double clips and two two by two flat pieces. All right. Darn it. Have you guys ever mess with Legos and then like the pieces stick to your skin? It's always a weird feeling. Is there a toilet in there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> toilet demon okay now time to build these overly complicated chairs so you take one of these round pieces and take one of these And it looks like one of these. Let me take this piece. And two of these. And one of these. these to the side and then add the brown parts okay that's a it's actually a neat looking chair right there someone's ready for some gaming ah she's at work right now
Because while I'm still out of a job, someone has to pay the bills. <laughs> and we'll take this piece. Ooh, one of these. And where's that clip piece at? Right here. Followed up by a double clip. There we are. Nope, oh, nope, oh, get that backwards. Hey, how would you guys feel if I uploaded Bionicle videos? Just, just out of curiosity, because uh, I wanted to upload some Bionicle videos last year, but I wasn't sure. Like, does anyone still watch Bionicle anymore? You know, besides uh, Duck Bricks and Mootroid Productions and some other guys. Kellen LF, there we go. And boom, another gamer chair. <clears throat> oh, cool, thank you. Uh <clears throat> yes, yes it is. <clears throat> this is the purest methamphetamine, the side of the border. And again, here's my little cook. And here's his product. So, yeah. <laughs> she bring... Yep, yep. Uh, thankfully, my girlfriend, she's still working. Um, I'm, I'm getting short-term disability, but... Um, there was a period of time my disability ran out. And by the time I got it reinstated, I only got $3.37. And then this year, uh, I did my income tax because I got a decent bonus. And I went to do my income tax, and I actually owed the government money. So that was, that was not fun. Um, so I have not been properly paid in a while. So at least she's still working. Um, that's good for now. But she's going to be getting a couple of surgeries pretty soon, so... Woo. My friend Grime loves Bionicle. Oh, cool. So maybe I will do some Bionicle videos. All right. Uh, where do I tab these things? Okay. Um, I don't think I want to tab in the chairs just yet, just because this kept falling apart. So, uh, let me just... Check the instructions again and count, because uh, right now i got to be extra careful with counting stuff. So let me count this real quick. How many studs back is there? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so eight studs back. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Ah. Man. And then throw the white bar on top. All right, there we go. <clears throat> oh, yes, good old vapor rub. Get a cough dropper. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, having some drainage, so I do need to clear my throat, but I think it's rude for me to hock up loogies on camera. Two thousand seven Warpath. You mean the Scout Class brush guard repaint? Yes, I do have some water. Don't you worry. Sorry, I was reading the comments. <clears throat> kind of still have to watch how much I speak. <laughs> All right. I, I built these chairs, but I'm going to set them off to the side for now. Um, 
Just because the van keeps falling apart. I mean, the RV. <clears throat> all right, now we get to all the tiny pieces. So we need to take one one by four brick and two of these long pieces. All right, and it says, I got a bad feeling about this. So I got to plug in all these pieces and I feel like it's just going to crumble. Ah, darn it. Yep. Okay. I'm starting to think I need to get some actual Lego pieces mixed in because these knockoffs ain't cutting it. There we go. Okay. And the front. Can, can you stop falling apart, please? I want to appreciate this build. All right. Then that piece goes there, I think. Hold up. Let me double check. Yeah. And then this. Tag, nab it. This piece goes there. I'm not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. Such a cool line. Uh, come on. Everything I touch gets destroyed. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. With utmost pain. I'm breaking stuff I didn't even know I could break. Cause I'm about to break. Jump. All right. There we go. All right, that's tabbed in. <sighs> okay, you know what? No wheels for the time being, just because the side panels keep coming off. No wheels for now. The ship is grounded. All right, that goes there. This goes here. And then this, ooh. Actually, that goes there, right? Yeah. And I need some divine patience, ladies and gentlemen. I'm terribly sorry. All right. Oh. Yeah, you see, that, that's what I'm thinking about doing. I got some Lego parts over here. I'm this close to just throwing them in there to... Yeah, on the bottom to hold everything in place. Right. Dead rabbit. I thought this was going to be a nice, fun, relaxing experience. Um, I was severely mistaken. It is a stressful endeavor. All right, there we go. Finally. Whew. 
Okay. Okay. I'm gonna grab some actual Lego pieces. Hopefully they fit. Um. See if this white brick helps. Oh, that, that clicked in so smoothly. So nice. Yep, just throwing in some real Lego pieces, and my goodness, the real Lego pieces just they go in so nicely. They, they actually feel like real Lego now. That's so weird. All right. Well, hopefully, yeah. I'm still gonna worry about that falling in on itself. Hmm. Okay. Well, holding the base plates together should help with the structural integrity of the rest of the build. So we're we're just gonna hopefully not punch in the sides anymore. Hopefully. All right, now uh, take 27. <laughs> uh, hold up, someone messaged me. Already. Ba -ba -bum. Okay, so Lin Time wants to know uh, who would be the best voice actor in your opinion for SG Ultra Magnus. You're saying Young Ye. I don't know that guy. Um, let's see, Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus. Ooh, that would have been a better question to ask me last year. I don't. That really depends. 18% battery. My goodness, this phone's dying so quick. That really depends. Uh, are we talking like the original Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus or the newer one that came out? <laughs> Mr. Drudge, I don't feel so good. If you spit on the pieces, they might stick better. No, they, they're not going to stick better. They're just going to be sticky. <laughs> Uh, and gave the 07 Warpath a new name, Trailblazer. Oh, cool. Very nice. I'm worried about you, my guy. Rutting season is steadily approaching. In your current condition, you'll do poorly against the younger, fitter males. Uh, yeah, man, I'm in bad... Not, not bad. I'm not in the best physical condition right now. Um, my girlfriend and I, we went to the movie theater... Uh, a couple weeks ago, and I got winded just walking from the parking lot to, um, well, to the theater, just walking in the parking lot. So throughout my life, I've had lots of people say, hey, you got a lot of energy. You're full of energy. I hope those people are happy because I'm just constantly tired. I get worn out way too easily. So I, I hope those people are happy. Uh, and the bumper came apart again. That's groovy. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, adding those Lego parts really helped with the structural integrity of the build. Um, it's amazing. You just throw in two parts and... The only thing really now is just the 
skirting on the side of the vehicle. That's still really loose. I really like those. I'll use their antlers to bully. <laughs> uh, anyone else watching X Men 97? Nope, I'm not. Oh, well, thank you, Keldia. I appreciate it. How much was this clothes, was it again? What? If you're just breaking apart on its own while making the tripod noise. <laughs> yeah, it's going to sound like uh, Minecraft skeletons when it falls apart. Uh, please, Dredge, keep your sanity by using real Lego parts. I am, I am. Don't you worry, Lime Time. I can now imagine, even after Dredge, managing to complete it, <laughs> just <laughs> up or eat it off the roof. No, I have not been able to climb the roof in a while. Um, stairs used to not be my enemy. They're, they're kind of my enemy now. Generations and Legacy Skullgrin looks great together. Glad I have both. Oh, that's cool. Well, for me, regular Magnus should be voiced by J.K. Simmons. Ooh. Speaking of Magnus, what color scheme would SG Delta Magnus have? Um, maybe just Power Convoy. That is a really good question. I don't know. Maybe just make him purple. Add red to the blue. The original Magnus, and he's the voice actor for Father Pucci. Don't know who that is. I didn't have this idea, Alex, of SG Delta Magnus having a shadow deputy color scheme. Okay, my mind regular Delta Magnus sounds like cable. Oh. Oh. Ooh, uh, what part of the JoJo dub? Because I, I stopped watching after Stardust Crusaders. Is it Stardust Crusaders? Um... When they when it changed into that town, I stopped watching. Alright. Now time to get back to building. Hopefully. Okay, so need two of these pieces and Oh, no, I need four four of these pieces one of these that's not a jumper that's a jumper and ten why do I need ten of that piece wow that's ridiculous so we got two four seis ultra ds okay Ten of those. And... Ooh, this is probably not good. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take off these wheels as well. That way. Okay. That actually feels a bit more stable. Too bad there's not a fast forward button in real life. Just speed build this for you. <laughs> no, no. Magnus being a lovable tick. <laughs> Diamond is unbreakable. Okay. Yeah, I did not get to Diamond is unbreakable. I'm sorry about that. I, I stopped watching after Stardust Crusaders. Because um, that was part three. I could not get into part four with the uh, Moria. Is that the name of the city? I just could not get into it. 
Okay, that's weird bit of construction right there. They want me to put two one by twos right there. And then another two one by twos right there. Ah, darn it. This would be a lot easier if my depth perception wasn't messed up. And then I gotta put one of these jumpers on top. So bizarre. Okay. Next up. Um, I guess I'm gonna be building a sink because I gotta put, whoops. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be building a sink because I gotta put two of these pieces right here. Maybe if they'll stop sticking to my skin. Maybe that's a sign to turn up the AC. Uh, no, that's not right. Where's that other piece at? There it is. Alrighty, and then got to put another jumper plate up. Ugh. There we go. What the hell is this? Don't you just love it when you knock stuff over in the background? Wonderful. feel like a cat sometimes. Not because I'm extremely agile, but because I knock stuff over. Um, hmm. What did I do with that? There we go. All right. So we got that. And then for the sink, obviously we need a faucet. So we're going to put that right there, maybe. And then we got to get a, ooh, not the blue Lego head, but one of these blue can pieces. And then put a uh, round white top on it. And in the official Lego set, this is, um, this little round piece in the official sets that I have, there's like a little design on the top. So it looks like a can or like a water bottle. It's pretty neat. All right. Um, cool. Then let's see. We need two of those. Two of these pieces and two of these. And it looks like, don't take my word on it because my vision's a little messed up, but it kind of looks like the single piece goes on the far end and then the double wide piece kind of hangs over this open slot in the back, which with this being knockoff, I'm not a big fan of this open slot. So... Depending on how the rest of the build goes, I might have to put some more Lego in there to keep it supported. Or who knows, maybe it might stay in place. Okay, so if the Breaking Bad RV could transform, what would its name be? Ooh, you know what? Uh, originally, before I bought this Lego stuff, I wanted to make a custom, but I couldn't find any RV-shaped transformers. But, in the show, it's called the Crystal Wagon, so maybe Battle Wagon, or maybe Dope Back Mountain. <laughs> dope Back, get it, Dope, Dope, no, okay. Caldod. Warrior Insurgents would be so much better if they used the cartoon. Um, 
Who's Cal Dodd? Is that a voice actor? Breaker. Walter Tron. No one else going to check out the first omen? Nope. Myself, as a good Christian boy, I have no desire to frolic in such nonsense. Imagine watching that in VeggieTales back to back. Any fresh kills to report? Nope. Not, I haven't killed anyone. CG by the vigils. Brian Sesame Street. <laughs> Dopecon. Dealertron. Uh, okay. So, back at the instructions. And got that table made. Alright. That's where I'm at. Need to get a... Dad, nab it. Okay, I don't know why, but right there it is really not wanting to plug in. Why is it not wanting to attach to? Okay, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to mess with that because I have a strange feeling that if I try to fix it, I'm just going to make it worse. All right, so uh, we got one of these pieces and one of these. And where's that two by three flat? There it is. And uh, I can't really see if that's a one by five or a one by six. Oh, it's a one by six. Okay. All right, I got these pieces here. Okay, so if any of you plan on getting this uh, Break Bad RV, I got it off of eBay, or no, I got it off of Amazon. Uh, just be sure to have some regular Legos on hand, just in case, you know, for structural integrity. All right, uh, where's that bottle of whiskey at? So we got some whiskey um that are some hot sauce and then we got to throw in some cans where are all the cans okay another whiskey bottle oh that's not right Okay, so the yellow one goes there, blue one here, and there should be a red piece. Um, I don't think this is for anything important. Uh, this might be the piece I'm looking for. I'm just not seeing the bright color, uh, but hopefully that'll do. Oh, tan. Why does it show it as red? Okay, and then we got to get these white pieces on the containers to close them up. All right, cool. And, oh. Oh. Okay. Then we take this piece. And then we put even more chemicals back here. I don't think the colors really matter. Uh, if you get your own set, you could put whatever colors you want up here um hmm all right a lot of containers too bad lego doesn't have like little baggies that you can give your minifigures all right oh uh, then i gotta get two more of these flat pieces and 
One more two by one flat and two by two over here and another ooh actually bigger than six mm, it might be well, one way to find out yeah that should be fine famous last words that should be fine Okay, then you take the flat piece, the two by one, and the other flat piece. All right, yep. And on the instructions, it's showing some overhang right there. And there's some overhang right there, sweet. <laughs> Paint it purple and call it Shatter Glass Tweaker Tron. <laughs> No, make a great cup. Glenn Scott. Ah, I don't know who Glenn Scott is. What about the collab with TF and Stranger Things for the breaking? So I did think about that on uh, Instagram. I did post a post like, hey, what if I wanted to make Breaking Bad? Which one of these guys would I use? And the problem with the Stranger Things van is it is too small uh, because it's just a van and this is an RV. If you were a NASA, who would you gore first? Al Gore. How does it feel to hit 1.1 thousand subscribers? Uh, it, it feels interesting. Um, it would have been nice if that happened before I had my surgery. Um, but you know what? I, I, I think it's pretty neat. And again, I just want to say thank you for everyone who's subscribed and put up with me and all my delays. Like, oh yeah, I'll do a video months later. Now here's a video, not exactly what I promised. Um, so, yes, a huge thank you to everyone who's uh, followed me for as long as y'all have. <laughs> Gotta get this piece. Hmm. A lot of little building parts. Uh, unfortunately, no. No, it is not true. It does not say that. Okay, where is that double piece? There we go. And single blue there. So this is where it gets fun. This is where um, all the little tiny pieces start coming together. And need that blue head. And where's that white? There we go. And a flask looking thing. That'll do. Alright, so um what is that white or see-through? Hmm. I'm gonna go with the white one. Or the see-through one. Darn it! All right, so we're gonna put that together. Put this on, and uh, I believe I misread it. I totally misread it. We gotta get that on first. A little stud piece. Then you put that on. And then there's a special part somewhere um, that I just did not see when I was glancing at the instructions. I know I saw it somewhere around here. It's... Ah, there we go. So we take this special part right here and pop it in. Take this piece. What? I can't be right. No, no, it just goes there. Okay. And then that goes over here. 
And okay, then we're gonna take these pieces and put them on this little two by two square. And put the flask right there. All right. Now we are cooking with fire. I gotta say, I'm I'm really digging how that's looking so far with all the stuff falling over. <laughs> with all the little tiny bits. We get to throw on our stand-in for Walter White right here. Just a little chef that my brother got from a Lego set back in like 2009. And stand-in for Jesse. All right, set is looking not too shabby so far. Oh, so speaking of shattered glass, so I feel like Jesse's car should be uh, tracks and basically evil shattered glass tracks is going around selling meth to humans. I was thinking maybe it's just synthetic energon, but then that means all the Autobots are on meth. Which, I don't know, would that be funny if synthetic energon is just a methamphetamine? Uh, yeah, well, in time, actually, if uh, Hasbro would make a transit, just paint it tan, and there you go. You got the perfect Breaking Bad RV. Whew. Actually, uh, I did start working on a custom transit uh, using the uh, Dark in the Moon Voyager Sentinel Prime. <laughs> Alrighty. So, now let's see what the instructions have to say. Is it more tiny stuff? Uh, it's more tiny stuff. Yeah, there's a part of me that just wants to do the stream in two parts. But there's still so much more to go. Alright, so, based off the instructions, I need to get... This move to the side. Need one of these little gun pieces. Now, what's neat is, in official LEGO pieces, this little piece right here is used in a lot of mechs. And when I was growing up, we did not have this piece, so I think that's pretty neat since I stopped collecting LEGO and subsequently getting it again. They've come out with some really cool new parts for stuff I would have loved as a kid. I would have loved all the mechs that they're coming out with. And it's also a uh, pretty common piece in uh, Bionicle builds uh, for custom mocks. All right, so we got to take this piece and huh, put the gun on top. Then take the little Bionicle piece. Take this part. Together and oh no, did I use all the transparent blue cylinders? No, I did not. Let me take this and give it a little bottom. And bada bing, bada boom, we're ready to bring doom. I, I mean, math. We're, we're ready to cook math. All right. Um, let's see. Where does that piece go? That goes in a part that it did not... T oh, there it's telling me where to build. Okay. So, we got to take another 2x2 two two flat piece. Plug it in there. Now I'm assuming... Yep. Got to get another... Yeah. Flat piece. Put it right there. And 
and okay next to the 2x2 two two is a jumper plate which again is two at the bottom one on the top because it's, it's jumping a stud and then an L-shaped piece how does that go it goes like this and a little one by one square and what else am I supposed to add? Oh, another sink. So then we're going to take these little L brackets and put them over here. Maybe if my fingers will work. Come on. Come on. It's just good. I must apologize. Like I said, my hand-eye coordination is not what it used to be. Not that it was good to begin with, but now, whew, now it's way off. All right, and then we're going to take one of these round pieces, put it at the bottom of this jar thing, and let me make sure I'm doing this right. Come on, come on, there we go. And, oh. What in tarnation? Okay, so. Okay, that's neat. So with um, one of these parts, it, it has an anti-stud on the bottom, but it also has like a, a rod on the top. So instead of plugging on to normal bricks, you take this piece and then uh, plug it into anything with a that takes like a lightsaber rod. So that means ooh, that means it can also fit into a bionicle hand. Okay. Okay. I'm getting some ideas. All right. Um, Jesse is SG Bravo from G1. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just make Raul and Jesse one character. Uh, Jesse Raul. Uh, add in a generic Mexican last name. If you're all locked, uh, if you're watching, you can probably think of 30 last names that will work. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. That's not like a racist thing. That's just like I, I know a lot of Martinez's around here. There's a lot of Martinez's around here. There's not too many people with my last name around here, so there's a lot of Martinez's. Okay, so no one's commenting. I probably scared everyone off. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay, and then I take another clear cylinder. Well, this kind of looks like a coffee maker or like a blender almost hey dredge could we please hear what larry's voice lines he sent you were I'm wondering how it sounded oh that's a great question i don't remember which email i had him send them to or i had him sent to um but actually uh funny thing about this breaking bad rv it it's kind of ties in with a shutter glass stop motion I want to do. Because, like I said, last year I watched Breaking Bad. And I kind of want to throw in a Breaking Bad reference. I don't know why I bought an entire RV. Maybe I could have just made one out of cardboard. Probably not. But, uh, for, like, one of the skits. Uh, I, again, I, I want to have shutter glass tracks... Um, be a part of it and it's just going to be like a side not a skit but it's going to be like a side plot that's not very important so almost a skit um, where the Shattered Glass Autobots are also getting like instead of just stealing all their supplies dragging, drawing too much attention they're also selling drugs and doing other ways to get legal US currency to help fund their projects on Earth. 
or to also um, destabilize the population by bringing in drugs to... Um, what was that thing the government did? Uh, they brought drugs into uh, low-income, po poverty-stricken areas to destabilize the area. Stuff like that. E evil shit like that. That's what I want the Shattered Glass Autobots to be doing. It's just a lot of tiny builds on this thing. My goodness. Um, I'll just say that's good enough. Ah, oh, no. Just one more. Oh, is that it? Or is that a flower piece? Is this sexual Lego? No, I don't think so. Um. Hmm. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. That's actual Lego. Uh, okay, I'm looking for round piece and a white top. There we go. Get a nice little jar right there. Ah. Okay, well, obviously I gotta put the little jar there first because my hands are too big to put them in the way the instructions want me to. Okay, there we go. That's looking nice and sciencey. Yo, hello, LC Blades. How's it doing? Or how's it going? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. So then this piece. This is a pretty neat piece. Um growing up I had a similar Lego part where instead of having anti-studs, it had four studs um going on going down the side. Um but it, it didn't make this T shape, it just made an L shape. I don't know if that makes sense. All right, now this is telling me I gotta put books in here. Books, I don't want to read. Ugh. I'm having difficulty reading right now. Gosh. Okay, so we're going to need to get an orange piece, a little jumper brick, and um, this tan one by one. And, okay, a pink two by one. There we go. And then that goes right there. Okay, that's pretty neat. Okay, so now I gotta make some barrels. I'm gonna take uh, these round two by twos. And stack them on top of each other. Uh, two reds, two blacks. And then we're going to take the 2x2 two two round tile piece. Put that on top. Come on. There we go. And there we go. And then we just put those in the back of the van. some, Or the back of the camper. Hopefully that's a good spot for him. Yeah. Ah, I'm breaking things again. Darn it, breaking pad. All right. <clears throat> and then there's the little orange suitcase, which can has me think, oh no, that's a toolbox. Never mind. And that just gets thrown in there. Somewhere. How are you? Hey, that's good to hear. I am okay. Uh, could be a lot worse. I am slightly better than what I was several months ago. 
Uh, unfortunately, not in working condition. Still needing to wear an eye patch because uh, I went to see an eye doctor. And apparently the muscles in my eyes don't want to coordinate. So now I have double vision. Woo. So I'm having to wear an eye patch just so I don't get headaches from looking around. Um, and I'm still using a walking cane. But you know what? I'm I'm alive. So I'm thankful to be alive. How are you? Mm-hmm. be I got a song from Wally stuck in my head. Uh, it's the one about put on your Sunday clothes. Mm -hmm. All right. There's lots of world out there. Put on your Sunday shoes and find cigar. I can never remember the lyrics to that song, but it's still stuck in my head. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Rodimus. Welcome. Love your shutter glass costumes. Oh, customs. Oh, I misread that. I'm I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I was hoping to get around to doing a thousand subscriber special of showing off the shutter glass customs. Um, but as it stands, um, just about every time I get near my collection, I get lightheaded. So that's why I've been putting it off, just because it's um, dizzying for me. What sucks is I got them all on shelves, too, and I was really excited about that. What is your favorite TF lore piece from the Bayverse? Mine is not really lore, it's my theory, but it's a theory that the government full of pretenders in Age of Extinction. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, thank you, Blades. I appreciate that. Um, I think for me, um, so growing up, I, I didn't have cable and I didn't read the comics. So I got most of my lore from the movies. So I like the story with the primes, um, the all spark. That's pretty popular. Um, I don't know how I feel about Sentinel Prime's betrayal. Like, I, I kind of get it. That That's kind of neat. Oh yeah, it's a bad guy. Ooh, twist of villain. But at the same time, it's like, Come on, that's Prime's daddy. Why are you making him the villain? But definitely the Primes. I, I think that's pretty neat. Okay, so... Lots of table building. Um, that is the 2x6. And, huh, okay, so two by six and two by two jumper and a one by one tile. Oops, yeah, and then a one by one plate. Then got to get some whiskey on there. And three by two, three by one. All right, and gotta put all the small containers. This one by one goes here at an angle and just got to keep on putting these smaller pieces here. Kind of weird that they're not actual containers, but eh, whatever. Oh, and red. Go with that. Okay. 
And we gotta get this piece on that part right there. Boom. Got a nice little table right there for the children's toy to make illicit drugs. There we go. All right. Moving right along and all right now we finally get to make the storage containers yay there we go and oops these pieces double-sided no they are not i am a dummy there we go. I don't know why, but I've always liked these little containers. Even when I was a kid with my own, uh, with my Legos, with my brother, I would try and find a way to use these parts. They're just so neat. All right, and then we gotta get a two by three flat P. Oh, huh. am I missing a step? Oh. oh, I guess that has to be a lot closer. Whoopsie. Honestly, this is a really neat mock. I just, I kind of wish it was the official Lego and not the knockoff stuff. But I doubt the kind folks at Lego want to do Breaking Bad. You know, a crime drama. Oh, you know what? I will put that right... Eh, maybe not. Alright, now i got to make a cooler of some sort. Um, taking one of these three pieces... I don't know, this just looks like a cooler. And I need to put a drink on top of it. Ooh. I am all out. Oh, yep, I'm all out of cans. Oh well. I'll just put a uh, small container. Good enough. All right. Am I almost done with all the tiny stuff? <sighs> almost. Almost. Oh, and then, of course, how could I forget the all-important this part? This piece and a cheese slope. Mm -hmm. All right, apparently, okay. Now I got to take these little one by one squares, pop them together, one on top of the other, put this on, and, um, well, shoot. Can I bring these pieces apart? Uh, no. No, I cannot. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can use the stud separator. Uh. Not. Oh, there we go. It's working. This is so neat. I wish I had this growing up. But, uh come in handy quite a bit all right now let's put the black cap on that bottle there we go and we'll just put a white cap on this little transparent stud 
There we go. And stuff fell. Alrighty. Let's put that there. Alright. And the next step is building a bunch of meth. Pretty much. <laughs> So I'm going to take this really neat looking, uh, I, I want to call it a double jumper. Uh, how many pieces is this? Is this three? Yeah, it's three wide, but two studs on top. So three on three anti studs, two regular studs. That's pretty neat. I wish I had this part growing up. Um, and then we just, darn it. Okay, and then we just take this piece and then stack a bunch of meth on top. It says I have to stack nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and nine, and then put a, one of those parts right there. And this goes directly behind the pillars. Please don't break. All right. And now we got a fat stack of meth. All right. Uh, what else is on here? Oh, right, I guess we gotta put the chairs up at some point. Hmm. Alright, got some spare parts right there. Where do the chairs go? They go, what is it, three studs in front of the pillars. One, two, three, and one stud in. Oops. Yeah. There we are. That looks cozy. Yeah, uh, sorry, Lime Time, I just now saw your comment. He was trying to shut everyone up and stop the war and rebuild Cybertron. He was a good guy in his mind, besides the whole enslaved the humans and all. Yeah, you know, besides the human slavery, that's not a, not a bad plan. Okay, let's see if Lego folks can sit in these chairs. Ooh. Yes. Well, that's, that's pretty neat. Oh. oh, yeah, I forgot a piece broke off. Uh, where did it? Well, ah. Okay, stay. Please stay. I'm tired of putting you back. Honestly, building this just makes me want to mess with real Legos. <laughs> Darn it. Half the fun is rebuilding the set. Oh, 
over and over again. I'm sorry, I have a Linkin Park song stuck in my head. Darn it. Okay. Didn't I just put you back? Whew. Whoa. Okay. Wow. That is frustrating. Um, so, what time is it? It is currently 8.42. I'm working on a Shutter Glass RC right now, and I was struggling to find colors for her. I decided to on a Nightbird reference, but I'm curious, what would you do for Shutter Glass RC? Uh, give me a sec, I need to grab her, because I did make a Shutter Glass RC, and um, I based it on the 2007 Deluxe RC using the new legacy figure oh hold up i'm losing my balance i need to sit down real quick all right <clears throat> so for shadow glass rc this is what i ended up going with uh just using the new legacy figure and painting her kind of similar to the 07 movie the idea came from the 14th Prime, because uh, I asked him, like, hey, what would you do about Shattered Glass RC? And there is an official Shattered Glass RC, um, but I, I, I just didn't have the colors for that, so I went with the movie colors. Since you can, I don't know, almost say the movies are Shattered Glass. Almost. Oh, hi, Spidey. Um, yes, you can ask me a question or an opinion. Does Never Meet Your Heroes work as a tagline for a superhero movie? Yeah, it, it can. Superhero movie 2. Never Meet Your Heroes. Drake Bell is spitting minors. Cool. Thank you. Um, well, I guess... Well, I can still walk to my shelf. Does anyone have any more shattered glass questions? Oh, no problem, Spidey. Now, there is one custom I am hoping to finish this year. Uh, eventually, I want to finish this Soundwave custom uh, made from the movie Scourge. So, hopefully I'll get around to finishing him. It's not Shattered Glass, but it's just a fun little idea I had. Um, I think I am going to call it a night, and I will work on this meth lab some other time because this stream's going on a lot longer than i thought it would what did you do for shattered glass alita um so i i did two things for shattered glass alita i went with the official figure which is cybertron uh was it gt gto gtr um, it's a repaint of Cybertron Override, and that's the official Shattered Glass Alita. And then I also made a custom, which, let me grab it real quick.
Oh, they've been all ready? All right. Um, well, here is the official Shattered Glass Alita. Normally not too expensive on eBay. And um, a few years ago, I bought a... Um, th this was way before Legacy was around. I bought a Mastermind Creations Override. So I made a custom Shattered Glass Alita from the Mastermind Creations figure, which... If you can do, yeah, I'd recommend it, but, you know, I also recommend getting this figure. She's not bad. She's also not the greatest. If uh, Legacy wanted to be re really cool, they would do this repaint again with um, the Speedia 500 override. How would you feel if Hasbro actually made the SG Laser Prime? And how would you... Oh, thank you. Continuation of the SG-12 line, but in Gen Selects. Honestly, Gen Selects might be the best bet for Shattered Glass. Um, maybe don't charge an arm and a leg for it, like what they were for the regular stuff. They have, especially now with the new figures coming out this year, they have... So many figures um, to make Shattered Glass versions of, like Ultra Magnus should obviously be Laser Prime, and I think they should do that. Um, they should also use the new Cybertron Starscream for Shattered Glass Starscream. That's that's his look. Um, let's see. And I, I think they're at a good spot where they have enough figures that they could do Shattered Glass. Um, thankfully, Buzzworthy Bumblebee um, and the other Gen Select stuff is... They sell good substitutes for Shattered Glass, like Shattered Glass Trailbreaker. Uh, I'm using the Gen Selects uh, DK whatever. Um, Shattered Glass Ironhide, I'm using... Gen Selects, DK Guard. Um, for Toe Line, I'm just using Buzzworthy Bumblebee Toe Line for Shattered Glass Toe Line because with all the spikes, he doesn't look like Toe Line. Toe Line's supposed to be like a, hey, I'm, I'm here to tow your truck for you. You're in the spa to bother. I'll help you out. Almost like a hoist counterpart. He's supposed to be hoist but bigger. But with the spikes, you know, I think it works for Shattered Glass. Any more questions? Because I am starting to lose my voice. Agreed, Spidey. They should. Alrighty. Well, there aren't any more questions. I think I am going to hop on off. Well, not hop. I haven't been able to hop in a few months. I am going to walk on off. So, that being said, uh, ladies, gentlemen, watching, I hope you all have a great night. Stay safe, and I might do this again tomorrow. Who knows? If anyone wants to pop in for that. I think I'll finish this tomorrow or some other time this week. We'll see. So, y'all have a great night. Be safe. God bless. And thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Ah, good night, Mime Time. How do I end this stream?